Oh god, we're going down by esophagus. Have you studied the disease of ligma? Uh, no, I've been I've been really focusing on uh, Sugandis instead, actually. Unfinished pipes. Oh my god, we're like creating mutants. It was a submission to my story levels, and it's literally called Curing Carl's SGD Flu. So, <clears throat> I feel like I have to check this out. Like, I mean, I'm sick right now, so it just seemed perfect. <laughs> I need this cure. Also, look at that face. Look at that neck. Look at that sexy neck that I have right there. I believe that we are currently looking at my neck. Oh my god, are we going into my mouth? We're going in! We're going in! Wait, secrets? Secrets? You can't tell me what to- Alright, fine. I should actually try to cure it. Maybe this is why I'm still sick. I don't do what I need to do to actually get better. Alright, we're going in. I'm going in my mouth. <laughs> Carl Vore. Oh god, we're going down my esophagus! <laughs> oh yeah, what? Why do I have all of this shit? Oh, whoops, I forgot you swim that high. I'm just trying to figure out why I have, like, squids in my esophagus, alright? <laughs> this is the most pertinent level I've ever played right now. Okay. Let's go. We're going down the tubes. We're going down Carl's tubes. Alright, we're entering, we're entering the sphincter right now. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Alright, there we go. I think we're in our stomach or something. Definitely your mo I have moles in my stomach. There's your problem. I'm gonna wait for one more wrench to go- OH! Forgot they throw randomly. Would you die? Alright. <coughs> I'm really sorry about the coughing, guys. <coughs> Alright, I have some intestinal blockages going on, that's for sure. Holy heck. Alright, we're in like the small intestines. Let's go. That one's fat. Oh! I'd be coughing too. Yeah, guys, I'm trying to. Right, right now, you're seeing like you're seeing the microscopic demonstration every time of what's going on. Like every time I cough, I'm just trying to expel that mole that I have in <laughs> my stomach. <coughs> All right, I should be fine. Yeah, this is kind of tricky because it's got like the slow ones and the fast one, but we're gonna just go right here and hope I don't die. Why did it hit my like toe? Come on. Go. No, I'm so dumb. I saw that. I'm, uh, what am I? Uh, oh, I'm scared. I want the. F there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what the fuck is this? I think I want to go here. Nah, I should be safe down here. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm safe down here. Okay. Okay, this one can't even kill me until I go there, so we're fine. Wait, this one go up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I want to go right when they like line up and both go past me. I think. So like uh, two more from now, I think. They're desynced, man. I don't want them to be desynced. I want them to be synced. I, is it even getting any more in sync? It might not actually be getting any more in sync. Yeah, I think I'm just... None of these look good. It looks like it's super out of sync. Well, it should just push me, right? It won't actually... It won't actually... <clears throat> My... Alright, we're here much faster this time, which I'm hoping will give me a better cycle. I want to wait for both of them to go past, and then this one to go past. Okay, easy, 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 easy. There we go. Got it. Please be... Please come out the other end. All right. We're getting there. We're in the colon or something. I don't even know. This is a massive... Are we, like... Are we in my rectum? I'm pretty sure that we are in my rectum right now. There is... Oh, there is a lot of... Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Here's the... Here's the main blockage right now. Let's go. You guys ready? We're about to exit. Wait, where do I get in? How do I get in here? Well, I can just throw it, right? I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, I can just throw it. Oh, baby. Oh, what in God's name am I looking at? <laughs> Wait, was the door back? I can't remember where the door was. Uh... Alright. 
We have an impaction in our colon. <laughs> okay, no, maybe we were still in the large intestines. I think we were still in the large intestines. Now we have fucking Goombas. Do I get something from- oh, okay, alright. We gotta... We gotta blast our way out of here! Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get bodied. No! Uh, wait, 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 wait. He's gonna get me! He's gonna get me! Okay. Alright. I'm pretty sure the bricks are poop, by the way. Either that or the fucking Galoombas are poop. It's definitely some poop here. Alright, I think we're gonna just ignore that and then just peace out. Yeah, get me out of here. Get me out of here! Get these intestinal parasites out of here. Alright. <laughs> wait, 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 look really closely. <laughs> this is a fucking toilet. This is my feet, I think, right? I'm sitting down on the toilet. This is my butt. We just came out the butt. And now we're gonna go down the drain to victory. Down the fucking drain to victory. All right, get me out of here. <laughs> this level was fucking amazing. <laughs> All right, my GD flu has been cured. All right, um, we are gonna do a fun, happy little platforming warm-up level by Potato Chan, and then we're gonna get into the, and then we're gonna get straight into the trolls. Um, wait, I didn't actually add this to my little list. If it's a Potato Chan level, I feel like I have to play it. But now, see, now we're now is the test though. Like, is Potato Chan just abusing his power to get me to play whatever level he wants? We shall find out. <laughs> All right. Wait, Juz, you didn't actually beat this? Oh, and um, Potato must have re-uploaded it. All right, Potato Chan has the world record. You have the world record on your own level. Excuse me, the only clear of this level is Potato Chan. I don't trust this at all. I don't trust this one bit. <laughs> but supposedly this is actually not a troll level, so this should this should just be a fun little warm-up level. I don't actually know though. Oh, dumb waiting is dumb. Oh, I need to... I pushed... Uh, uh, oh, that's fast. Gotta go fast. I pushed the Super Mario World spin jump button. Oh, I should actually wait a second because I'm bad. But yeah, don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna get into the trolls after this. I have have a, I have a troll level that a whole bunch of people have been recommending. Boop. All right, what's gonna happen here? It's gonna go faster. Yeah, it's gonna go faster. Okay. Right. That is fast. I gotta jump. All right, in advance? Oh, that was too early. And the other is jump early here. Maybe right after there. Yeah, Carl. I can clearly see where the conveyor ends. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, honestly, Potato, I'm just used to um, Mario World physics right now. And like every time I switch back and forth, it just takes a second to get used to it again. Okay, we're gonna get on that Yosher. What am I doing? I think I just run? It's a fun level though. I, so this is like, I will say the waiting right there is like, it's just a bit much. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. I got, I hit something. It, see that's, and that's music block jank I think. Because when you bounce off of a music block you can go variable heights. And so I didn't get high enough that time. I don't think through any fault of my own. I just got like the bad music block height bounce. Oops, I've learned nothing. Are you planning on going to Sawcon? I don't even know what that is. Is that like, is that like the horror movie Sawcon? <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. Assuming it's not bad. Though I am going to um, PAX West actually. They somehow accepted, woo, a um, genetic engineering in games panel. Okay. Do I, oh, and then I do that. Okay, and then I... What? <laughs> what? Wait, 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 what is the gap? Oh! What the hell? <laughs> That's weird. Wait. Wait, I'm... 
Oh God, suck on these nuts! No, God, you got me! Damn it, you got me again! No! <laughs> How many of these are there? I did the exact same thing. I just, we're both just actually dumb. <laughs> Suck on these nuts. Wait, I don't actually know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. Do I throw it up? Okay, I throw it up. Hold on. Let me think about this. That looks... That looks right. Maybe? I want to get it! <laughs> no, dude! <laughs> okay, I need to not jump on this. I, I, I didn't jump on it, just like I said. Think about things and plan stuff. And it's just what? I'm just looking, all right. <laughs> Potato, why? <laughs> all right, nice. Nice! Checkpoint number one. What is going? Oh, and I'm a beast! Oh, I'm supposed to... What am I gonna land on right there? Are there moles gonna jump out or something? Alright, well this is looking crazy. What is going on? That's just like, why? I'm still just... I, it's hard to play because I'm trying to figure out why are moles floating? <laughs> That is a cool setup. All right, and uh, 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 uh. okay. I was like, I'm assuming something's gonna be there. That's actually really cool. I right. see. Look, I got a much higher bounce that time. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I'm just imagining that to somehow troll me. Oh wait, this is gonna do something. <laughs> It did indeed do something. Ugh, it's hard to jump from one to the other like that. Well, Carl bad. <laughs> I tried to fix it and I even badinated it. It's been my pleasure, y'all. Okay, go in the fucking hole! Go in the fucking- God! Okay, wait. Drop it in the hole like- I'm so dumb! Okay, wait, I got this. <laughs> How does someone make emotes? Uh, you have to design like a 28 by 28 image and a 56 by 56 and a 112 by 112 following Twitch's guidelines. You can actually find the guidelines on Twitch. Um, but like for something to look good at that small of a size, it's actually quite, quite difficult. Oh, this is sick. Boink. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I need to start running. If I'm up against that left corner, I need to start running just after he goes down. Okay, that's actually easy. I'm just bad. All right, just after he goes down, then we go. Nice, Sue. All right, um, I think I just do that, and then we do it again. It's actually pretty sick. Um, I'm just gonna, wait, why did he throw two right? Oh, they're like, they both come? It's kind of fun. Wait, how come it didn't happen that time? Yes, let's go. Please give me a checkpoint or be done. Uh. Oh my god, dude, this should be at a troll level! This, I can't! That does nothing! It does nothing! It fucking- oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Glad we got one troll somewhere in there. That was amazing. That was a really good platforming level, Potato. Again, Yaka, I think you already did do it a little bit, but um... Long ride sections where you just kind of wait every time are boring, but other than that, it was great. The, very, very creative. I loved a lot of the like crazy shit that you found a way to incorporate into cool platforming moves, so I really like it. All right, this is Dr. Carl's questionable e ethics. Actually, it's the level creator's name is literally one mole. <clears throat> oh my god. All right. Yes, it's Lantiva level next, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna do more Shanghai puzzles next week when I'm feeling better. Jeez, I better be feeling better next week. Ooh. All right, we got these little little molecules going into a thing, doing a stuff. What did that do? <laughs> oh my god, we're like creating mutants. 
those two things are like going together and then out's coming something new. Oh my god, I love this. We're doing science, y'all. We're doing science, y'all, with questionable ethics. Let's go. I don't think I want to go up there. Do I want to go up there? I want that little doctor outfit on too. This is so cute. Wait, what's going on down there? Oh my god, Koopas. No, we're killing Koopas. Oh my god, and then the little death Koopa comes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's actually a really cool setup. I don't know how they set that up. This is so good. This is so good. I don't know how they did that. Oh god. Carl, what have you done? You've gotten mad with power, Carl. Oh, what's, what am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do next? Alright, we got a mole, a bomb, and a wiggler. What are we gonna do? What's gonna happen? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. <clears throat> oh my god, dude, look at this setup. <laughs> look, I'm dying, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm dying. I just keep making more. They're breeding like rabbits. They're breeding like rabbits. Look at this. This is really, There's so many coming out of it. You guys need to calm the fuck down, alright? Things are getting a little out of control. <laughs> Hold on, I need to I need to I need to do something over here. I need to stop this funny business. Alright, let's go. Oh, slid under there. Nice. I wonder if I wasn't supposed to keep the boot. That was an easy cheese if I was. Okay, what are we doing now? We're just- we're just killing things. I love how these things are like little science experiments. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright. I feel like I'm not supposed to have the boot here. This is probably cheese, but we'll see what it ends up actually doing. <laughs> I love these little setups. They're just like cute little science experiments. I love it. I just want to watch them. Wait, maybe I was supposed to have the boot? Oh, the vine. Well, I have to drop the boot anyway. All right. Ooh, we've got a little flask, I think. All right. We just need, we just need one, one little bit of mole in that. Wait, what are we, oh, okay. All right, we've added, we've added a mole to the reaction. <laughs> we've added a mole to the reaction. <laughs> All right, we've added two moles to the reaction. Now we just need a little bit of Goomba. Oh no, we need some bomb. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Add some fire. Now we get winged moles. <laughs> oh god. They're loose! The experiment's loose! Wait, I needed to hit that piece, Rich. Shit. Shit! The experiments are rebelling! Stay back, Satan! Alright. Uh, get me out of here. Abandon the lab. A fan in the lab. <laughs> one molecule has been added. One mole has been added. All right. Can I die if I fall down there? Yeah. Dangerous lab you got here, Carl. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking fish. Wee! Shinies? Lab is full of shinies. What are we doing right now? Oh. Oh, alright. Key. Where was the key? Huh, I wonder if there was a secret ending or something. Oh, here's my key. Uh, oh. I'm okay with this. I like Yoshi's. Ooh, blue Yoshi. Okay, that bomb's gonna let us out. Yeah. Nice. What? How do I go back to the key door? I wanna go back to the key door. Is there any way to go back to the key door? Hold on. No, I didn't mean to touch that. <laughs> well, I guess the key would just take us to the bottom right there. <laughs> Alright, that was cute. That was a cute level. We did some science experiments. We made some horrifying mole babies. 
<coughs> basically just another day in the lab. Let's go. Thumbnail is dev exit. Yeah. I'm sure that that is a real dev exit. Don't worry, I'll find it soon. Ah, uh, okay, I'm not blocking my camera. Let's go! Woo, it's a speedo. What am I doing? Oh, I'm supposed to run. In before this is the way to go. Hey, I see that door up there. I see that door up there. What you trying to pull with that door? <laughs> Wee! Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was just a fish. That was just a fish. What was I supposed to do right there? Oh my god. I... Oh, I'm supposed to just hold jump on the shell, I think... Okay. Uh, what? Oh, nice! <laughs> Through all of these different things, and... Oh, I didn't even get clever. I did a triple jump and then a ground pound. And when you do a ground pound, it makes you gain height. God. <laughs> so you like gained a bunch of extra height and got trapped. What am I doing? Nothing. Dying. <laughs> like this. And it's also fun, Sopido Ran, when you're not doing this stuff. Okay. Boink, boink, boink. No! What the hell is that? <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I love it. This is funny because it, uh, it plays on a lot of your expectations <laughs> for what you think you're gonna have to do. Okay, what do we do to not be dumb here? There's no point in going there, right? There's literally no point in going there. Oh, uh, we're gonna get bodied. We're gonna get bodied. Oh, no! What the? <laughs> How did that work? How did that work? How did it go away? Hold on, I wanna see that one again. Oh, how does it? Oh, it's the, okay. Don't know if I need that, but maybe. Wait, there's only four seconds in this level left. <laughs> Do I need the key? I get it. What happened? Wait, I almost did it. What? That's not a platform. Look at this shit. That's not a platform. Man, that's... That is so confusing. Is that a glitch in the background? How does it, like, it, like, weaves in and out? God, that scared me. Well, I'm dead anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna do a triple jump still, but lower. Okay, six seconds on the clock, we got the key. Oh, this is gonna fuck me, yep. <laughs> I was like, which one is it gonna be? Which one is it gonna be? The last one, I should have just gone straight. I think I did it right, I just like wait there a second. It's very confusing visually, but I think I got it. Oh, uh, what is this shit? Checkpoint? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, how do you beat the level? Wait, what's the... Oh, my controller did that stupid thing again. So what's... I'm not smart. What's, what's the dev exit? How does that work? Wait a minute! Uh, I think I'm just bad. How does- I'm so confused still how this works. I- Why doesn't that- I'm just bad, right? I think I'm just bad. How does the level creator beat this then? You can't use this like extra time. I'm just bad, right? I'm not doing the- the, my controller keeps dying, sorry. It's very confusing and strange. Yeah, I need to throw it earlier than the indicator. Oh. Going up. <laughs> How? Uh. Wait, is there an easier way to do that? How do I... How do I do that? <laughs> Uh, 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 what am 
I missing? Do, 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 do. Oh, up there. Am I just supposed to go up there? I'm just supposed to go up there, aren't I? I'm supposed to go up there to the left. Yeah, I'm blind. <laughs> you must be being bad. You must be being blind, Mario Mash. Okay, it's this one, and then is it this one? Yeah. Oh. 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 Don't put on the hell. Oh, I can't even die there. Let me die. Oh, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe it is. If I had just gone faster, maybe that's actually what I'm supposed to do? Oh! My goodness. What? Oh, that's... <laughs> you can't... Wait a minute, you can't do... It's trying to tell you to do air twirls, but you can't do air twirls with Yoshi anyway. So what is it? Oh, that's so puzzling. Okay, I need to... I need to get that, like, timing a little bit better right there. It's confusing. There we go. Uh... Okay, I do want to keep the Yoshi right there, because I don't think I can get through that otherwise. Just hold jump there. That's actually pretty cool. What? <laughs> My pal didn't kill that. <laughs> Fuck. My pal wasn't the thing that killed it, it just died by itself. <laughs> This just dies. <laughs> what? No! 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 What? Do I want this? No! <laughs> now that is an interesting twist. Now that is an interesting twist on the checkpoint troll. Because that checkpoint goes back to the beginning. Oh no. Oh my god. You're in the speed run, like you just hold forward. No. <laughs> okay. Jesus, that pipe is so easy to go in. Do I want the Yoshi still? I don't know. <laughs> I might be dead. Well, I got slowed down. What the? F How did I go? How did I end up? Where am I supposed to- maybe I'm supposed to just ditch the Yoshi right here, and then spin jump on the top of those guys? No, because I'll die right there. Why do I get bodied so hard by that? Because I- I, I, I could be wrong about this. Okay, that- what am I supposed to do right there? I don't have a key. I don't have a Yoshi. I'm not doing something right. <laughs> I don't have anything that I need. Something is wrong. Where do I actually go? No, dude, what the fuck? I jumped. No! <laughs> I jumped off of Yoshi, I swear I did. Something will make sense. Oh, I was supposed to ditch the Yoshi right there. Oh. Oh. So I'm I was never supposed to be able- This jump just shouldn't be makeable if, if you're not supposed to do it that way. Oh, I'm just supposed to kill them and then like- Oh, I get it. And then there's gonna be a key in one of the piranhas that we- Oh, jeez, I get it. Okay, I was- want to be doing that flutter because you do the flutter there so I just did the same flutter there that's why but you don't you don't even need to I get it you're just supposed to do this oh and the Z that's the troll there that I never even saw because I'm too dumb all right well figured it out uh, it's got the key in it okay 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 I got so confused when I didn't get the key either what where did was that there the whole time <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. So I do have the damage boost then? Where did that even come from? I think don't kill. Oh, I see. It's on top of it. Oh, this is. So we probably did that too slow. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> got enough, got a lot of speed there. This actually should be really good. Let's go! How? Oh, I'm just supposed to. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I just collect the mushroom and walk in. I can just walk in with the mushroom. And then we gotta find that dev exit. Okay, I literally wait here, get that, and then touch that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. It's kind of weird how Mario just disappears like that. See you later, buddy. Well, that level was really good. The only thing that was a little bit weird was just that part to jump off the Yoshi. But everything else was awesome. But how? Let's see if we can find that dev exit. Hold on. Let's see if we can just like. I'm assuming the dev exit is not going to be easy to find. Ooh. Well, let's whatever. Let's find it in the editor anyway. Oh uh, yeah, we ground pounded up there. Um, you can go down this pipe. Did we try to go down this pipe? Did we go down this pipe? What is my controller doing? Did we go here? Oh, how though? Oh, that is it. That is the dev exit. So how do you do it? Can you activate this power maybe sooner or something? How does this power get activated? Wait a minute. Can you get out right here? No, it doesn't do anything for you. We need a mushroom. Do you have to beat the... Do you have to go back to the beginning? You can't, right? No, 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 you can't. How do you do it? Let's see what happens if you just don't go in the key door, but I don't think that's it. Or maybe it is when I'm just done. Hold on. I want to see if I'm forgetting anything. How do you do this? You got to get in that. I think it's something to do with this pal, maybe. See, so you can't get in there. How can we get rid of him? We need a shell or a mushroom or this pal. Is it... Maybe it's possible to kill it with this pal. Hold on. Is it possible? I want the power to fall. There's the pow. It's no way to do it, dude. Pow's too far. This is interesting. How does the level creator beat it? Oh, it does spawn up above. Oh, you need a P-switch active. You need a P-switch active. Yeah, you need a P-switch active. Oh my god, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, potato chance has collected only one of the coins. Yeah, that's I just got it. <laughs> I just got it right now. I got the exact same thing. This is super clever. No, oh, that's actually tricky. You so what you need to do is like this. There we go. See with that one coin left above the piranha. Check it out. Uh, wait, where's the P switch? Wait a minute. I thought a P switch got activated. Wow, so you have to go right here. Wow, this is hard. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> wow, that is a dev exit. If I've ever seen a dev exit. Holy heckaroonie, that is a monstrous dev exit. That's probably the most creative dev exit I've ever seen. Wow. All right, this is Until Dawn in a Nutshell, Revision Zero, Your Choice Matters by Symplectic. <laughs> I have a suspicion I know what this is going to be. Let's see if I'm right. All right, we're going across the top of the screen. Your <laughs> choice. I've got a sneaky suspicion that our choice doesn't matter. My guess, my guess is our choice doesn't actually matter. And it's like deep commentary. Ah! Unfinished pipes, all right, we're gonna go left. Look at all these choices that we have to make. Oh, the other one would have killed us. Dang, it's a good thing we picked that one. <laughs> Both butterfly effect. <laughs> All right, so because we have chose we've chosen that door the results are completely and utterly different <laughs> Okay, 
My... <laughs> Help, my Wi-Fi is dying. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point, but I'm pretty sure that, like, even though you had the... <laughs> even though we had the illusion... This level must have required exhaustive testing. Yeah, so, you know, in other words, it's sort of like simple, all of Symplectic's other levels. <laughs> Oh my god, so uh, my, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull back the curtains and reveal the truth about gaming in general about life in general Not just this is not just a metaphor about one triple-a horror game. No, this is a metaphor <laughs> This is a metaphor about all life The choices don't matter <laughs> Uh, you were scared into thinking that you made the right decision and that your choices had consequences. But in reality, it didn't matter. <laughs> uh, just kidding, it was all just a prank. You can even see the doors. <laughs> choices don't matter, time to drop out of school. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you, someone on Twitch told you to drop out of school. You should definitely do it. <laughs> Oh god. Actually, it's... Isn't the butterfly effect like the opposite of that? It's like, your choices have big consequences. I mean, okay, to be fair, like, in the actual game, you can't make a game where it's just like... I mean, you could make a game where your choice, like, mattered a crazy amount, but then it would probably be a bad game. <laughs> like, because not all of the outcomes would be equally fun or desirable. You ever got any projects in the lab? Um, well, we just, we published this, so it's kind of silly. We published this paper that was like, in my opinion, one of the least interesting papers that I have published. Or, and um, we, like, we actually have like an HPV vaccine paper coming out that is like actually about vaccines. But um, we published a paper that has to do somewhat with a uh, disease or a virus called noroviruses. And noroviruses cause what everybody in the US and refers to as stomach flu. Um, it's basically like when you're fucking throwing up all the time and it's horrible and everybody gets it. And it's actually a cool fact about it is apparently people get it on average five times during their life. I was like, damn, that's like even more than I thought. Um, something like 10% of the entire world gets it every year. Um, so anyway, we published a paper on it and this like new and our um, I don't know why but like of all the things that I've worked on That's the one that our university like press office Decided to write an article about and then like once that happens like the way that news works is it's like all right If somebody just happens to randomly stumble on your thing and write a press release on it Then it just like goes out to the then it then like other news things pick it up and it just like I guess spirals out of control I don't know um, so for anybody who missed it, though, this thing was, this is so funny, oh my god. Um, I was interviewed by my local news station, um, and actually, wait, because if someone wants to toss a link to that, if anybody wants to check it out, here you go, there's, there's a link to it, but, um, I posted it on Twitter, and I was just, like, fucking laughing my ass off, because, like, okay, first off, on this, like, website, this thing has uh, like 2,000 views and most of their videos have like 100 or 200 views on them. So I'm just like imagining like somebody who works for this to be like, why why does this video have so many views all of a sudden? And then I scroll down to the freaking comments and I just see the lab, AKA the Carl box. First he solves the puzzles, then he solves the vaccines. <laughs> Where are the vaccines come from? Oh my god, Andy does everything twice, twice. Vaccines are a tool to be used and discarded. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm just imagining somebody who works for, <laughs> who works for this news outlet just like, what is going on? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a thing that, that's a thing that happens. So thank you guys for also being respectful in the comments besides that, but oh my god, I love you guys. <laughs> Do you think fungus is creepy? Oh my gosh, yeah, the, uh, there are some creepy funguses. Actually, gosh, you know what a really scary... So you guys have probably heard of the ant zombie fungus thing, right? If you never heard of that one, you definitely need to start and look at that one first. But basically, like, this fungus infects ants, and it makes them, like, go out, like, in just the middle of the open, and it, like, mind controls them to go walk somewhere, and then it, like, sets up this, like, spore-producing colony factory in the ant 
and the whole the there's pictures of these ants that are just like petrified with a fucking fungus growing out of them and it like spews its spores everywhere and apparently some of the ants like realize it and they'll like take the infected ones and go like carry them away and get rid of them so they don't infect the colony those things are fucking crazy and scary and it's actually a game based around that one of those zombie games um one of those zombie games is uh, based on that. I forget which one it is, though. They go to a high place. Yeah, yeah. So the fungus can, like, spread everywhere. Uh, the Last of Us. Yeah, I was inspired, I guess. That's right. That's right. Um, but anyway, there's... Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, uh, Knife. Um, there's another thing that's even... It might be creepier than that. Like, I don't know. So there are these things called parasitoid wasps. And man, are they fucked up. So they're also kind of cool, but also kind of fucked up. So um, the parasitoid wasps basically like lay their eggs inside of something else. So it's like, hey, I'm a caterpillar. This thing is just like stab with the fucking egg injector. And then it just like, but then it's like, hey, we need you though to provide food for the things that are gonna come out of the egg. So the, it just like paralyzes them and then, like, when the eggs hatch, they, like, hatch and just eat the thing from the inside out. Anyway, this is, why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about this? This is horrifying. Nature is fucking horrifying. Um, but it's actually a really a more cool thing, in my opinion, about those fucking parasitoid wasps. Um, and that is that they're apparently infected with, like, a virus, but it's, like, every single one of their species is infected with that virus. And so when the parasitoid wasp does its, like parasitic shit that it does laying eggs inside of stuff um the virus that like lives symbiotically with the wasp like also helps it infect that and it's just weird that it's like this virus has just become part of itself i don't know it's kind of like how we like mitochondria were bacteria that became part of us that's more cool from like a we're all giant collections of organisms sort of thing and less in the like horror eating from the inside out thing <laughs> Uh, Lamp the camp, thank you 100 bits, says, Hey Carl, any advice for a healthier brain? Um, let's see, I'm prescribed 100 milligram of Adderall, but don't, or 10 milligram, but I don't like taking them because of the side effects. Uh, you'd probably need to talk to a doctor or not some dude online, unfortunately. Like, there's, you know, reasonable evidence that general healthy things can also have you I mean there's a, what do you mean by healthier brain like are you talking mental health because that's very different like dude I don't know there's so there's also this thing where it's like like body hacking or something like that um where it's like people worry so much about doing these little things to be healthier or to like have better xyz and honestly like 90 percent of it is either 99% of it is either bullshit or can be summarized by have a decent varied diet get exercise and do basic healthy things like beyond that almost nothing actually has good evidence that it works really well and there are probably a few exceptions but there's a few of them not a lot of them yeah like I love um, I love exercising. Like whenever I have a problem that I'm working on or if I'm just stressed out, exercise makes me feel a lot better. But like, you know, people who think like, oh, you should take like X supplement and do Y thing. Like most of that shit is bullshit. Most of it is bullshit. Not always, not always. That's why I say like, you know, talk to your fucking doctor, not a guy online. Elon Musk is a bad person. Yeah. It's like, this is actually a very common, sorry. Like I'm a, I have the, I have like the attention span of a gerbil, but, um, um, like, it's always weird, right? Like, when people are really famous, it's like a lot of people get super focused on whether they're good people or not. And, you know, just like analyzing everything that they do, blah, blah, blah. It's like celebrity shit or whatever. Part of me is like, yeah, if someone's a fuck, don't support them. But it's like, sometimes it's hard. Do you guys ever have it happen where you're like, you watch something and you really love somebody or like somebody's music and then they say something really stupid that just makes you like, never want to watch any of their stuff again. I don't know. It's it's hard because, like, I feel like Elon Musk is doing a lot of good stuff, even if he is, you know, happens to be a dick sometimes. I don't know, though. It's hard to, it's hard to weigh those sorts of things. Like, I'm so glad that SpaceX exists. Some people are assholes, but they can still not be evil. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Being an asshole doesn't make you a bad... Doesn't make it... Doesn't mean that your, like, net impact on the world is negative. 
you're an undergrad neuroscientist. Recently, me and my friends were brainstorming cool ideas for the future. Think of how crazy it would be if you could take someone's brain and connect it to another body. Yeah, this has like been a classic example for a long time. It is crazy, but it's like somebody somebody's person is not just their brain, you know? Like your nervous system is massively connected all around. Like not just your spine also too. Um, you could cure all forms of death except brain death that you could just remove the brain and 3D print a new body. Dude, all of that stuff is like... I'll, I'll take I'll take one tenth that crazy for now. It's like hard to even imagine what's gonna happen in the future. I feel like every time people try to guess, you guys ever seen the like nineteen hundreds depictions of what the two thousands would be like? They're all so funny and hilarious and wrong. Like the stuff that ends up taking off is like it, it's so hard to predict. Like nobody I feel like predicted the internet. You know, I don't know. Um, spe sorry, I'm not going to get off on too many random tangents, but speaking of internet and predictions and things, like, even, like, Star Trek, like, the original Star Trek is so bad in so many ways for what the future is going to be like, um, but also, did you guys hear that apparently fucking Patrick Stewart just got, like, announced that they're doing a new Star Trek with Patrick Stewart, and I fucking love Patrick Stewart, I'm excited about that. Fermentation is cool. Fermentation is sweet. I love how, like, so I was making mead, you can just, like, see... I wish I could show you guys. Um, they're making like the CO2 in it. Like that's basically what yeast do is they eat sugar and they poop out alcohol and CO2, which is why alcoholic shit is carbonated and why it makes you drunk. It's just like, it's literally just drinking yeast poop, which sounds great, right? Um, uh, but like while it's um, fermenting, while it's just sitting there, like they produce so much CO2 that like, A, it'll turn to a fucking bomb if you don't let the CO2 out, but also B, like, you can watch it just bubble and bubble and bubble. Like, it's crazy how many bubbles it makes while it's going, and it just does that for weeks. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm.